This is Facebook Audience Insights. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. And in this video, I want to explain a few things about um, a feature, a tool that Facebook offers. Uh, it's called Audience Insights. Uh, we had it in the past, it was quite useful. Uh, they removed it at some point and now it's back again. But unfortunately, it's very, very limited. And uh, as I will try to explain is not exactly as useful as it was in the past. Let me show you where you can find it. Uh, go to your business manager, open the menu from here and look for insights. If you don't have insights in this area, look in the uh, links list right here and you will find it. Once there, go to audiences and you will see right away information about your Facebook page. Um, users so facebook page uh, as you might see we don't have a lot of users on our facebook page actually we don't promote it almost at all it's not uh, relevant for our business at this point at this point so uh, it has very small numbers however you can see information about gender and in our case men are uh, dominant top cities top countries and that's it so not exactly very useful however you can do something else you can create a potential audience from here and when you go there by default you will have two filters pre-selected which are platform facebook and instagram location in my case is romania because i'm in romania right now and i'm based in romania so it's not very useful for me a agent gender but you can change those and I will do this. Let's select United States because this is where we have uh, most of our customers and you can change age, gender, language, but the key thing here is interests. And let's try to look into an interest like uh, online marketing, online advertising. Okay. And of course, we will see the numbers, the potential reach, again, gender, this time, this time is more women, and top cities, top countries, and <clears throat> uh, usually you see pages, but right now it looks like we have a bug. Okay, there was a bug. So... Um, I just refresh the page to get all the data and these no 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 I'm, I'm once again in a different wrong audience let me start again United States so Facebook can have issues interest maybe a different one online marketing marketing online fewer people and yeah we now have pages so maybe they show pages for some interests and not for others who knows anyway uh, you will see top pages right here so this might give you an idea about what to look for and what audience to create if you are happy with this kind of um, audience you can create save give it a name and then use it for your ads and that's about it. So it's not a very complex tool. Uh, and I think there are two reasons that this tool is not as useful as it used to be. One, it has to do with privacy. Probably Facebook has uh, less access to data, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe they don't want to show how much uh, data they have because it was, uh, well, interesting and a bit worrying back in back in the days i was able to see uh, things like what um, preferences in terms of shopping uh, an audience had what they bought and how much they spend income household uh, household income and all all this stuff so maybe they don't want to show that much information to protect privacy but i think it's also related to how facebook ads are evolving and i think they are moving towards more automated ads and they want us to give more uh, space to Facebook algorithms instead of creating all these 
uh, tiny audiences to target with the ads. So probably they want us to look lookalikes instead. And I think it's a good strategy to have audiences for people that are key to your business, for actions that are key to your business, like purchase or lead, or people that watch a video on your website, or people that spend more time on a page and create a custom audience. First of all, track them with an event, create a custom audience, and then create a lookalike. And this way, Facebook will look for people that are more similar to those that already perform the desired action. So I think this is the way things work better now, but you should also try to experiment with interest-based audiences. And if, you are, uh, if your website is really new, you don't have uh, data from the past, you probably have to start with interest. But if you have a Facebook pixel, use events. If you have uh, customers, export your customers list and create a, a Facebook audience and then create lookalikes instead of uh, manually configuring audiences. Um, that's it. That's how you can use uh, audience insights and maybe you find it useful and it's, uh, it's something you need to experiment with. Anyway, uh, I have two demands or uh, two things that I want to ask. Demand is a powerful word. Uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel. See you soon.